The Deputy Speaker of the Abia House of Representatives, Benjamin Kalu, has called for a joint effort at bringing lasting peace and development to Abia State, irrespective of political leaning. He made this call at the grand reception organized for him at the Ochendo International Conference Center in Umahia by the Abia State Government to celebrate his position as the Deputy Speaker of the National House of Representatives. Correction there. Chingwe Ugele reports. In the spirit of togetherness, in the spirit of collaboration, to lead a legacy of peace and progress for the nations to come. It was a gathering that attracted nearly everyone who is or was a public office holder in Abia State, as well as the citizens from the All Progressives Congress and the Labour Party. Abia State government apparently, in order to drive home the people's high hopes of Deputy Speaker Kalo, organized a grand reception in his honor. What we have done today is what should be done. Right now, And if we continue to celebrate it till the end of this year, we wouldn't have done too much. Abia State had at a time produced the Senate president, but his position was never accorded such importance, and there was not much the masses could say was the benefit of that office to the state other than the constant fight between the governor and the Senate president. It was just a question of uh, instability within the National Assembly because we were learning the art of functioning with the president and then the other arm of government. Therefore, now that Ben Carlo is the deputy speaker of the House of Representatives, what difference will his office make in the lives of Abia citizens and the state in general? The deputy speaker, he is the one, the chairman of the committee of the whole, where final decisions on bills are made before they are read for the third time and passed. So he occupies a very strategic position. And what is being done today in his honor is, in fact, act. Our workplace. The government is different. In this one, I can tell you that um, the state is going to benefit. For some of us who are members of the National Assembly from Abia State, we already started benefiting. We know what is in the budget, 2024 budget coming, and we know the role he played for some of us who are even new members. The various speakers at the event extolled the qualities of the deputy speaker, but most of all applauded the synergy existing between him and the governor, though of different political parties. Could this be a sign of the governor pitching his tent with his old folks at the All Progressives Congress, or a genuine desire to reach out to everyone who the governor feels matters in Abia State? Chinwa Ugele, reporting for News Central.